Now let's quickly do few exercises. So the first exercise is we have a consumer who is buying 180 units of a goods at a price of 90 rupees each. The price elasticity of demand for the goods is minus 1. So how many units the consumer will buy at a price of rupees 100 per unit. So we need to find out that. Okay. So here we have P is equal to 90 which is price. Then we have Q which is the quantity demanded 180 units. Now we already have been told that price elasticity of demand is minus 1. So the formula I would use here first I'll find out the per delta P that is the change in the price which is 100 minus 90 which is equal to 10 because we have been told how many units the consumer will buy at a price of 100. So here ED is equal to delta Q upon delta P multiplied by P divided by Q. Now we have to find out delta Q. So we will say minus 1 is equal to delta Q divided by 10 multiplied by 90 which is P divided by 180 which is Q. So if you substitute the numbers and calculate you will get delta Q as 160 units. Now let's quickly do the next exercise. We have been told the price elasticity of demand is minus 0.75. So we have to calculate the percentage fall in the price that will result in 15% increase in demand. I want to see a 15% increase in demand. So I want to see by how much percentage the price should fall. Okay. Now see ED is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in the price. We know this formula, right? So we know 0.5 is the elasticity of demand given to us. So we'll say is equal to 15 divided by percentage change in the price. So here when I substitute the numbers, I'll get the percentage change in the prices 20%. Okay. Now let's move to the next exercise, which is quantity demanded rose by 6 units when the price fell by 1 per unit. So the quantity demanded increased by 6 units when there was 1 rupee fall. So ED is equal to minus 1. If the price before change was 20 per unit, what is the quantity demanded? Okay, so very simple. We already have the price as 20. Delta P is minus 1. Q is not given to us, but delta Q is given to us as 6 units. Okay, so just have to substitute the numbers in this formula. P divided by Q multiplied by delta Q into delta P. So I'll get the answer as 120 units. 